this is an illustration that we're using to show the pressure pots we were talking about earlier. Here we have the heating element in the water that we put in to begin with. We're going to um, heat that water to boiling. And what we want to produce in this situation is a, a flow of steam that is uh, saturated with water. Saturated, the definition of saturated steam is the situation where you have water droplets suspended as steam particles and you have solid water. Once you've stepped away from the point where you no longer have solid water and you've converted as all of the water into steam, you have now superheated it. And at the point that you superheat steam, you can actually increase its temperature uh, to where you can use superheated steam to cut steel. Uh, superheated steam is, is um, not a good choice for sterilizing instruments. It tends to melt things. It's not as controllable. What we want is to make sure that we have our a water, some sort of water within the chamber at all times. As we were talking earlier, we mentioned that there is a ratio between pressure and temperature of exposed saturated steam. This only applies to saturated steam. This chart uh, gives us an idea of what we are looking for when the machine is being run. And under normal uh, sterilization, uh, we would be looking somewhere in the range of 24 to 29 PSI with temperatures in the 270s to 272 degrees. That's the normal operating conditions for uh, tabletop sterilizers. Now back to the um, pressure pots we were talking about earlier, we have a problem inherent within a pressure pot in that they tend to stratify the steam. Um, when you started the machine, you started with this chamber cold and you heated the water and the water uh, started to produce steam and it's very hard for steam to heat air. The transfer of energy between steam and air takes a very long time and requires a lot of uh, temperature change. So under normal circumstances, the air would be con compressed on the top of the steam. So you wind up with a situation where you have stratified your steam. You have light steam on the top, you have denser steam on the bottom, and you have no circulation of steam within the chamber. Now, if you're only doing um, scissors and nail clippers, that's okay. There's no uh, little entries that need to get steam exposure. This will work very well for those instruments, but anything more complicated, we need to be able to actually circulate the steam within the packs, move it around, get it to the point where it gets good exposure within all of the um, little pit, pits and containers and chambers within the instruments. 